if there is one thing the online whiskey world needs, it's more awards. Joking. Not another one? While the landscape varies from the community-focused Oswas to Instagram tournaments and some much more prestigious pay-to-enter ones. So here I am, been investing far too much time and energy into something I'm genuinely excited about. All over, I've been seeing more and more praise about the exploding growth and energy around whiskey from my home country, so I felt someone needed to get the ball rolling. And that someone is me. So join me, Jeff Whiskey, and with the help from Vin from No Nonsense Whiskey, as we launch the English Whiskey Awards. Let's crack on. <laughs> Jeff Whisker. Depending on how slow I am editing this, the English Whiskey Awards have been launched and you can vote now. But please stay for the video before you go and vote. One, for a bit more context, and two, that tasty YouTube retention. After being so impressed and inspired by the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards and with their encouragement for others to do their own spin, followed by a couple of folks suggesting Vin and I tackle English Whiskey during the 2024 announcement stream, here we are. So really, it's your fault. No one asked for this, but this is what we've got. So while the Oswards is a Scotch whiskey drinker's perspective on all whiskey, this is a focus on the English whiskey scene from an international and general whiskey drinkers. Though I will state I have been given the nod of approval to do this, but it is only inspired by and not connected to their show. So if this goes down in flames, uh, it's Vin's fault. All of this has been created and funded to date by myself and I'm just a whiskey enthusiast and far from an expert, so if there are any mistakes or room for improvement, let me know. But please be gentle. Oh, I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. While it's awesome to see what we are putting forward as our favourites, I wanted to also use this as a platform to highlight just the crazy range of English whiskey and crazy range of great English whiskey. So with this being a much smaller but still growing area, I have tried to take into account and where possible create the ability to submit up to three entries at each category. So hopefully it provides a greater range. It is also just three categories for our inaugural year, mainly just to save my admin time and use this year as a pilot. So with that, the first category is Best Value English Whiskey. Value is a huge part of mine and Vin's channel and was something I'm really passionate about. Probably because I'm like Scrooge, if he was a slapper. Boo humbug. Here you can submit three choices. Everything with this seems to be in threes. And there's no pre-selected bottles and starting off with you to have free range to put forward your choices. So if you can ensure that you provide the full name of the specific bottle, it will help make sure we're promoting the right one. Then moving on to the next category, best English whiskey distillery. So this list has been taken. <laughs> Thought I was in Scooby-Doo then. This list has been taken from the Cooper King English whiskey map and where possible I've tried to cross reference and ensure nothing has been missed but just in case there is a field at the bottom where you can type in. Again you can select up to three distilleries with the aim of this category to cover distillery tours, marketing, range of whiskey, quality of product, passion and whatever means the most to you in a whiskey distillery. Then to the third and final vote Possibly the big one. No, 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 no innuendo, okay? Best English whiskey. Again, three is the magic number. You can select up to three bottles and put forward what you feel is the best English whiskey you have tried. As this is the first year, it doesn't have to be something you've only tried in 2024, just something you feel confident shouting out as the best. Then I've also included some little bonus questions at the end, fully optional just as a way to help gauge greater context around the winners and English whiskey scene in general. This is all managed via a Google form embedded on the EnglishWhiskeyAwards.co.uk page and you'll need a valid email to enter to help prevent spam as part of Google's rules. But don't worry, these won't be used for anything and I'll be all in line with GDPR compliance. <laughs> then the voting closes on November the 16th with the aim of Vin and myself live streaming the awards winners on the 30th on my channel. We will be providing one winner in each category and providing a list of runners up to help acknowledge a wider range of well-praised whiskey. And for full transparency and integrity and all that good stuff, Vin and myself won't be voting and where possible, we're gonna do what we can to not influence these votes at all. Not that anyone listens to what I say anyway. I think that's all I need to fill you in with. Thank you to my channel members, the Bottle Slap Club. <coughs> Thought I broke that then. You support me way more than you know. If you like this initiative, do spread the word. And even if you're not particularly an English whiskey fan, 
yet. The more popular this becomes, the more it benefits whiskey as a whole. Rising tides lift all ships and all that jazz. You're so wise. And I'm sure as many of you guessed, I focus on the joy of whiskey, and this is far from a super serious hard line awards platform. We're just here to celebrate great whiskey. So I'm grateful to have you here. All the best and cheers to the Ahuahas. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Cheers to the English Whiskey Awards. Vote now. Bye.